Hi guys, so today I'm filming my very first video. Um, I've been debating whether or not to start filming videos for quite a while now, but over on my Instagram um, I've just started a challenge um, which I've called my palette per week challenge. I know a lot of people on Instagram call it um, a one week one palette. Uh, basically I'm using one of my eyeshadow palettes every single day for a week at a time until I've used them all and the reason that I'm doing this is because I want to get rid of a load of my palettes basically I've got too many so I want to see which ones I like which ones I don't like and the only way I can figure out that I can do that is uh, by using them all one at a time for for a little bit uh, so I'm doing them a week at a time. The first palette I decided to do was my Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette. So that's what I've been using all this week. The first thing I have noted um, based on this palette is the first time I used this was this week. And as you can see, there are already quite a few dents, especially in the uh, sort of shimmer shades. I found it's best to sort of apply those with my finger. Um, they didn't seem to go on very well with a brush, but unfortunately because of that, they have been dented quite significantly, considering I've only used them seven times maximum each. Um, another thing I did find that's a negative is all these dark shades in the corners seem very similar to me and also these two shimmer shades here um, did seem very similar as well. So with it being only a nine pan palette anyway, um, I did struggle to create different looks each day. Uh, I think I probably only had about two or three visibly different looks. I did try to use slightly different shades each time but because there's only nine shades and some of them are quite similar it was difficult to achieve different looks each day as for the formula the formula was okay but i'm very fair skinned as you can see and so i found with the darker shades in particular um they looked a bit patchy unless i was using a good um, eyeshadow primer. I do have the Urban Decay Primer Potion which I use but I don't use it every day. My everyday eyeshadow base is just this NYX white eyeshadow base. It's just it's similar to the uh, MAC Paint Pots I think uh, but that's sort of my everyday eyeshadow base and I found that the mattes in particular, the darker ones, were quite patchy sometimes so they did require some building up. The shimmers um, were good, a little bit clumpy every now and again so I did have to work them in quite well with my finger to remove the clumps. But overall, they were okay. Um, the quality, not my favourite formula ever, but it was alright. You know, it was manageable. Um, one thing that is really good is the size. As you can see, it fits into my hand very easily. This would fit very well in any makeup bag, no matter how small or just in a small handbag. It would be a good palette for if you were going out for the night um, and you wanted to do your makeup on the way or something like that, because it does also come with a mirror. I wouldn't recommend it for if you were going away for more than a weekend because I think you would struggle to get more looks out of it unless you particularly like the looks that you can get out of this. But I think that the um, Warm Brown Obsessions palette, which I'm going to try at some point, would be more wearable, sort of everyday wearable. This I think would be also more wearable on deeper skin tones, but I'm very pale so it's not very subtle on me at all. Um, but I do really like the Obsessions range uh, in general because they are nice and small, they're so easy for travel, the packaging is really good, like you can knock it about and it's not gonna, they're not gonna break. I don't want to seem overly critical, um, but I just, I want to get rid of some eyeshadow palettes and if I don't focus on the negatives, I'm not gonna get rid of any. <laughs> so. Yeah, I do think it's a good palette, but I'm, I'm sort of focusing on the negatives so that I can give myself a reason to get rid of some. But overall, it is a good palette. I don't think I would miss it if I didn't have it. Um, but I mean, it's only tiny, so it's not doing any harm in my makeup drawer. I'll, oh, I'll also include some um, pictures quickly. Uh, I'll just insert them into the video of the, some of the looks that I've created throughout the week. As you can see, they're all very similar. Um, I did try my first ever cut crease um, using this palette. Um, which did seem to work to sort of make the lighter pink shimmer show up a bit better um, but I, I don't think I would use it but I'd do a cut crease every day because it's a bit of a bit of a faff as you can see the, the looks weren't too different but they did all come out nice um, I'm wearing it today, today is the last day that I've been wearing it but yeah it's a good palette I don't think I'd miss it if I didn't have it so I think this one's going to go in a maybe for a declutter at some point next year but so each week um, I'll be leaving a review of the palette that I've been using for that week. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for next week's review.